Finna take off on spaceship. Got these hoes like Matrix. And fucking her unless she nameless. What is up, you guys? Valentine's the Closet back. Do you want to get another clothing video? And today I have a video with you guys live from the photo slash video booth. It is about 2.30 in the morning. I'm gonna grind this video out for you guys um, because I'm back on this YouTube grind. So, I have an Alexander McQueen review. I don't really see too much of these on YouTube. I, this is a brand new pair pretty much that I only worn about one time. But like it's fresh enough for me to still go ahead and review for you guys. I got us some Essence. If you guys aren't aware, Essence is still having a huge sale. It's gonna end sometime uh, early January, like the first week of January. So, take advantage of that sale. You guys have the chance. These shoes retail for about $5.85 or some some number around there and I got these for 384 so about 200 bucks off I'll definitely take advantage of that sale if you guys have the chance let's go over the box so the top of the box is gonna say Alexander McQueen in some kind of old classy British looking font all gray box around the side it's a rectangular shaped box I'm gonna show you guys the code that the code on the front if you guys want to compare it to the pairs you guys have at home um, the shoe number is 441631WHGP7 Seven nine eight nine three, and there goes all your information. This is a size eleven and a half. I want to say, yeah, eleven and a half from Essence. And I don't really have any shoes that are really orange, so I felt like I really wanted to go ahead and pick up something that was going to challenge my wardrobe and something that I don't really have too much colors of, just because I was tired of always buying stuff that's always black and white. So I picked up the white leather and orange suede Alexander McQueen's. Now opening up the box, the inside of the box is going to have that zebra looking print, marble-ish kind of print. Same thing with the interior of the box and the wrapping paper itself. It's going to have that zebra looking print. Now, taking the shoe out, it's gonna be wrapped in a long, long plastic to protect the shoe. I'll put the first pair right here. It's going to come with in a dust bag, which is gonna be like a heather gray dust bag. And it's going to say Alexander McQueen right there on the front of the dust bag. If you guys can see that right here, it says Alexander McQueen. On top of that, you're going to have your extra laces, the little shoe freshener stuff that people would never fucking use. And you have the Azam Queen care kit slash like fucking like authenticity bowl. Yeah, so it's going to come with that as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this pair to the side and take this one out. Like I said, I wore them these once, so I wore them on the worst day too. Like I wore them when it was raining outside to my, to my boy's baby shower. So I probably should have never wore them then. But I just got them and I got the off-white belt with it as well, also on sale. So I figured, you know what, man, let me just rock them now since I have the chance. Going over the shoe, let me smack this right here on top of the box. Um, first thing first, in terms of comfortability, it's decent. You know, if I was to give it like a 1 out of 10, I would probably give it like a 6 or like a 7. It's in the middle. It's nothing extraordinary. It is a designer shoe. Designer shoes typically aren't really that comfortable, but these ones are, I would say are regular. Uh, I feel like the platform at the bottom probably increases the likelihood of it being not that comfortable. Unlike the Triple S, which to be honest is like pretty comfortable for a shoe. Like I'm not gonna lie, Triple S's are pretty comfortable um, if you get the right size. This is, I'm a true size 11 and a half. And with these, I kept hearing people say that they were massive. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay true to size because true to size is honestly the best way to go if you guys are, are having trouble choosing size with any kind of shoe. Starting from the bottom all the way to the top, the bottom is going to have a white on white. It's pretty much look. I mean, the stitching is gonna be white. It's gonna have like a white fat ass sole. This big as hell like a, like a super super oversized sole at the bottom um piping around the medial side and the lateral side are in the front and the back are all going to be white moving up to the upper is going to be a white leather it's going to have five dots going up on the side white stitching back tab is going to have orange suede orange suede cap at the, at the back this is Alexander McQueen the how it sticks out from the back fat booty Nicki Minaj booty back there you know, fat but uh yeah so it's gonna have nice fat laces as well from the top and a pretty thin tongue on the inside is gonna have a soft leather leather inside and the sole the inner sole of the shoe is gonna say Alexander McQueen in orange and that's pretty much a shoe it's a really simple shoe I mean on the tongue it says Alexander McQueen also in silver and the back it says Alexander McQueen in silver so it's pretty much a basic shoe for me to go over. It's nothing too crazy. It's really just a designer Stan Smith. I mean, if you want to get a Stan Smith, but you want to step up to something a little different and you want to get like a Raph Simmons, which basically is a Stan Smith. Um, the Raph Simmons Stan Smith is just that the quality leather is just taken up by a notch. And I believe the tongue is also really, really thin to compared to the regular tongue. And instead of it saying like the dot, dot, dot on the side, it's going to have 
the R and the dot 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 on the side. So that's pretty much the difference between that. If you want to step up with like a high fashion Raph Simmons Stan Smith, this is pretty much the way to go. I mean, this basically looks like a Stan Smith with a triple S sole. That's pretty much what it looks like. And I would probably throw these in the dad sneaker category. In terms of styling, I feel like these um, shoes that are shoes, these are shoes that I do have a uh, fun time styling. Um, even though I only wore them once, I still came with different thoughts of ideas with black wear them in my head. And some of my favorite things to picture myself wearing these with are definitely just track pants, um, baggy Adidas sweats, uh, champion track pants, Nike track pants, Adidas track pants. Track pants have been like my favorite look, like the whole like, like summer, um, for definitely like a summer vibe, but it's definitely something that I've been picking up a lot of this past like uh, late summer, fall, and this whole winter season. So the vintage tee, uh, track pants, and designer shoes have been pretty much my look like entirely but um that is one of my favorite looks to go with these guys right here it's an all white shoe shoe so you can pretty much wear these with anything um in terms of the quality of the leather the leather quality is pretty good um I, it's nothing really like out of this world but it's pretty good the suede though is is like like a pig's ass like the suede is crazy soft in the back so i'm really impressed by the suede it really reminds me a lot of the slp um saint laurent whites um, the suede feels pretty similar from when I first got those. It gets dirty pretty easy though. I do have a little black mark right here, which I think I got some dirt on it from when I wore it last time. So they do get dirty pretty easily and I have a black smudge right here I gotta clean off too. On um, essence, these sell out pretty quick. Last year, I was gonna go ahead and get the white leather and a blue suede, but those sold out like fast as hell. So if you guys are looking for a pair, I do recommend you guys to find your pairs on essence. eBay and Grilled, I would say Alexander Queen oversized sneakers are definitely holding their prices I mean, people will buy new pairs, sell them for retail, sell them for a couple hundred bucks over retail. And I've been seeing them go for about 400, 450 if they are in dead stock condition or very, very near dead stock. So these guys definitely do really hold their value. But yeah, like I said, if you guys want to get a brand new pair, authentic, then go ahead and grab your pair essence. Um, this is Valentine's Closet, Closet sign up for yet another video. I'm about to record a second video. Um, after this with the Rick Owen pod shorts and um, crop trousers I picked up. Um, if you guys do like this new look, um, this new location for the video, leave a like down below. Be sure to comment down below. Anything else you guys want me to review, be sure to comment down below. All my social media and all my YouTube channels are in the description box below. Be sure to like and comment. Check out my Instagram. I'm out. Peace. take off on spaceship. Rock these like Matrix. And fucking unless she nameless.